Just because you know the fundamentals of your deen is not enough. Every day a Muslim must increase in his knowledge. And this is so important that our Nabi, Sayyidul Alameen, the reason why Allah created the universe, the reason why Allah declared his being a Rabb, is Sayyiduna Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the most learned of Allah's creation. A'lamul Khalq. Nobody was given any way as near as knowledge that Allah gave to his beloved Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Nobody. Even then Allah says to him, in the Quran, in Surah Taha, Allah says, Oh beloved, make dua, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Rabbi Zidni Ilma. He is the most learned of Allah's creation. Alime Makana Baba Yakun. But then Allah says to him, Oh my beloved, make this dua that, Oh my Lord, increase me in my knowledge. Increase me in my, Ya Allah, give me more knowledge. Ya Allah, give me more knowledge. Ya Allah, give, who is he saying? Allah is saying this to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So every Muslim must have this policy. This must be his mindset every day of his life. That I want to learn more about Quran. I want to learn more about Hadith. So by the grace of Allah, we are Muslims. And Muslim means one whose aqidah and his amal is in accordance to the teachings of Quran and Sunnah. His aqidah, the foundation, beliefs, the creed, and his a'mal, his deeds, his actions. Whatever he or she does, whatever he or she believes, must be that belief which has been passed on from one generation to the other, to the other, to the next, to the next, for the last 1400 years. Continuous chain of what the Prophet believed, Ali Salatu Wasalam, what he told to the Sahaba, what the Sahaba told to the Tabatabi, what they told to the Tabatabi, likewise, one generation after another. Continuous chain. You must believe in what the Sahaba believed. That is why you have the term Ahlus Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The true Muslims. Ahlus Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Because sadly, like every other big religion, we have so many sects. We have so many groups. We have so many firaq. So how do we determine? And every group will say we are on the right path. We follow the true Islam. Our Aqidah is that of the Aslam. How do we declare? How do we know? We know that, Alhamdulillah, Islam is the only way to Allah now. The only deen acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. Allah makes that very clear. Allah says in Surah Ali Imran, Verse number 19, Inna dina inda Allahil Islam. Indeed, the only religion unto Allah is Islam. And then Allah Himself says again in the same surah, Waman yabtaghe ghayr al Islam dinan falain yuqbal min. And whoever adopts another way, another path, Apart from Islam, it shall never be accepted from that person. So one and only way to Allah is, speak with me, Islam. 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 The one and only way to Allah is Islam through the channel and the wasila and the means of Sayyiduna Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wasallam says, that even if Musa alayhi salam, who? Musa alayhi salam, one of the mightiest messengers of Allah, Ulul Azma Rasul, Sahib Kitab, Tawrat Sharif, Kalimullah, had the honor of directly speaking to Allah, one to one, 
वन टू वन विद अल्लाह मूसा कलीम अल्लाह रसूलुल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम सेज लौ काना मूसा हयुन मा वसअहु इल्ला तबाई से सुभान अल्लाह इफ मूसा अलैहि सलाम वाज फिजिकली अलाइव टुडे फिजिकली अलाइव even he would have no option but to follow in my footsteps musa ali salam even anbiya e kiram after the coming of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is why when sayyiduna isa ali salam returns again isa ali salam is still alive fourth heaven allah raised him whenever allah wills near the day of judgment allah will send him down But he will not come as a nabi. He is a nabi. He is a rasul. But when he comes again, he will lead his life in accordance to the Sharia of Muhammad Rasulullah. He is a nabi. But he will have to all also follow the laws of Sayyiduna Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. So one and only way to Allah is Islam. An Islam. Like I said, Aka Ali Salat was Salam himself mentioned a hadith in Tirmidhi Sharif. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Omar, Rabbi Allah Taala narrates that the Banu Israel of the time of Sayyidina Musa Ali Salam they were divided into seventy-one sects. Only one will go to Jannah, the rest will go to hell. The people of Sayyidina Isa Ali Salam, seventy-two sects. One will go to Jannah. Rest will go to hell, and this ummah, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, if I can narrate to you the words of the hadith, that wa inna bani Israel tafarrakat ala sintain wa sabina milatan, wa taftareko ummati ala salatim wa sabina milatan. My ummah, my followers, they will be divided into seventy-three sects. Kullu hum fi nar. كلهم في النار. Each and every one of that group, the seventy-three will go to hell. إلا ملة واحدة. But for one group, but for one فرقة. وقالوا من هي يا رسول الله؟ The Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, which is that group? There will be seventy-three different groups. Which is that group which is eligible for paradise, for the pleasure of Allah? For the qurb of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, "Ma ana alaihi wa ashabi." Say Subhanallah. This is the Hadith of Allah. Say Subhanallah. That group which will follow my way and the way of my ashab, the Sahaba Kiram. And from this comes the word Ahlu Sunnah wal Jamaah. From this Hadith, Ahlu Sunnah. Well, Jamaa, the people of Sunnah. Sunnah means the way of the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Jamaa means party, and this party refers to the Sahaba Kiram. So that group which Aqida, Aqida is in accordance to the teaching of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and what the Sahaba believed. <coughs> so we need to go back and see. Out of the divisions, remember, nobody wants divisions. Nobody wants this unity in the ummah. Maybe in history, there has never been a greater need for unity and ittihad and ittifaq than there is today for the Muslim ummah. So dispersed are we, so broken are we, and that is why the world rules us. And this is their policy: divide and rule. This has been their policy from day one, because what makes us strong, my brothers and sisters, is our iman, is our belief, is our love for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam, love for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and this is what the enemy has been doing from day one. How do we break the strength of the Muslims? How do we disunite them? How can we rule them and govern them? By making this fair between them, these differences that we have, so very, very important for all of us that our aqidah is in accordance to the aqidah of the Ahlu Sunnah wal Jamaah. 